Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. The end of the 2020 election is just one day away, and the biggest contest on the ballot remains the race for president. And for those who will spend election night looking for early indications on whether President Donald Trump gets another four years in office, or if he is unseated by former Vice President Joe Biden, Mountaintop News political analyst Tom Ajasic has three words. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Due to a high number of mail-in ballots and early voting, it might be several days before Americans know the true vote total. But Majasic says Pennsylvania could be the bellwether that indicates how the rest of the country goes. Now we do have this uh, kind of an unusual situation with COVID in which uh, a lot of people voted early and a lot of people voted by mail and it takes a long time to count those votes. So, you know, we're not going to get complete totals for perhaps three days to a week. Uh, I'm sure some of those totals are going to be contested, but boy, if, if Joe Biden wins Pennsylvania on election night by more than four percentage points, uh, then things will look really good for him. Conversely, if he, if he shows weakness in Pennsylvania, then you know Donald Trump may pull off another surprise. Majasic believes the race will be tight in the Electoral College. But if Pennsylvania turns out to be the decisive state, Majasic says the entire race could hinge on the fact that Biden was born there. Well, there's, there's you know, no doubt that Donald Trump is going to do really well in the Ohio River Valley. Obviously, he's going to run up big numbers in West Virginia. He's going to run up big numbers in Kentucky. And he's probably going to carry Ohio, though. That's not been determined yet, but he's got a real good shot at uh, that. On the other hand, uh, nationally, I think he will definitely lose the popular vote, probably by as much as four million votes. Uh, he will probably lose in the Electoral College, so that will be much tighter. Stay with Mountaintop News for coverage of the election before and after the vote. Tuesday night, you can get real-time election updates by visiting the Mountaintop News Facebook page as well as by tuning in to Mountaintop TV, WDHR, and WXCC for breaking news alerts. And get a complete wrap-up of election results by visiting our website, mountain-topmedia.com.